today I'm going to show you the Alchemist amplifier from iEast and it is the amp i50b model it is a kind of wireless hi-fi multi-room semi amplifier okay and uh, this model is a kind of wall mount type amplifier for streaming online music services mostly it is a installer model why am I saying this? because this model needs to be set up and uh, installed on the wall or on the ceiling so this is a, an installer's job to do that so I su we suggest you hire a professional installer to help you install this unit in your home here I'm gonna show you the side panel as you can see there are several interfaces like the micro SD, USB, WPS, RS232, IR remotes, line-in and the LAN port here we already installed the antennas on both sides and here there is a volume knob and here is the Phoenix connector now I'm gonna show you how to connect the speaker we already prepared for one sitting speaker and here we installed the Phoenix connector on the cable just insert it over here okay so now it is connected with the sitting speaker and here we have the power supply find the DC port connect the power adapter okay and now let's wait for the voice prompt to appear and also take out your phone here let, there's a white light Okay, so now we have heard the voice prompt. Now let's start to entering setup mode. Follow the instructions in the app to finish the setup. Okay, so now let's open your phone. Find the settings button. Go to LAN. Now let's turn to the side of the unit. There is a white label here. The last four numbers is B B F two eight. Okay, remember it. Then go to your phone. In your land list, as you can see, refresh. There is a SSID called I East I fifty. BF28 and the last four numbers is, is the same as that showing on this white label, right? Okay, so this hot of spot is exactly the SSID for this i50B device. Now let's connect it. Put it down. You are now connected to your speaker. Follow the instructions in the app to finish the setup. Okay, so the voice tells us that it is connected. Okay, then let's go back. Go to your iEast Play application. Okay, we have been to this page. See, on the bottom, there are two mod but buttons. Okay direct mode and the add device let's click add device so now we can see several Wi-Fi hotspots around you for the first time connection you have to make sure that your device is connected with your 2.4G 
Wi-Fi instead of 5G, okay? So let's choose the this one, okay? And here you need to type into your right password because we already typed this password and the application has the memory function so we do not need to type it again and you can also hide your password you can also let it appear if you like let's click continue it's now connecting wait for a minute the network okay the voice appears now it shows that it is connected and the Wi-Fi strength is 100%, right? Let's click next. And here, we have been to the name device page. As you can see, there are several options. You can rename your IEs I-50 device into bathroom, bedroom, or whatever room you like. Let's just select it as guest room, okay? Then click here. So now you can see this device is already renamed as guest room, right? Let's start to enjoy some music. First, let's try the local music. Click your My Music button. Here you can see all the songs that are stored on your phone. Go to it. Let's select one song. Okay, this one, Attack. Played. Okay, so now the speaker already output sound. And there is a volume button here. You can click it. And then the volume bar appears. Sometimes the, the signal is not good. It will affect the music to play, but don't worry. You can slide the volume bar to control the volume. Here, slide the volume bar to make it smaller. So now it's smaller, and then put it bigger. Okay, so now it's becoming bigger. Let's stop it. Let's check the other features. Go here. As you can see, there are several music services. These are online music services like Spotify, Tidal, Deezer. And here you can add more services, okay? You can choose to open or close. It's up to you. And uh, one more feature I need to mention is that this i50B Sailing, um, on sailing wall mount amplifier also supports Bluetooth. Do you know why there are two antennas? Because one is the Bluetooth antenna and the other is the Wi Fi antenna. That's why this model has two antennas. Okay. If you would like to enjoy Bluetooth, you can also. Click here to try. And now, let's open the settings button. As you can see, there is an EQ function. You can click it. You can adjust treble or bass on this page or add the preset sound effect to make your device have more effects, okay? And here, as you can see, there's a new icon on the right corner. It means that you have a new firmware version to be upgraded. So let's try it now. Go to speaker info, see it? And here, this page shows all the details of your unit, like MAC address, IP, SSID, and the firmware version. As you can see now, the firmware version of this unit is 3.8, right? And the new icon is here. Let's click it, okay? 
So now it shows upgrade to new version 4.2. Let's upgrade it. But you have to wait because it needs to download the latest firmware and then update. After that, the device will reboot automatically. Okay, you have to have some patience. Let's wait for it. Okay, as you can see now, connected to your Wi Fi network. 87% device reboots. It's about to start. Let's wait for one minute, okay? I don't think it needs one minute. Okay, okay, okay. it's very fast now. Okay, 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 okay. So, update successful. Let's confirm. So now the new icon disappeared, right? It means that the firmware version has already been updated to the latest one. If you don't believe what I said, let's go to speaker info. On the bottom, let's see the firmware version. Now it's 4.2, right? And, and then this is the newest firmware version. Let's check what this firmware brings to us. I think there are new features. Again, let's go to EQ. There's something new on this option. As you can see, before the upgrade, we cannot see the customized word here, right? And this EQ function is developed after the firmware version 4.2. So now on this version, we have this function. Let's try to play some music. Okay, try to play some local music first. Again, this song. Make it bigger. Okay. Make it smaller. So now let's go to EQ to check what this new feature brings us. Here, treble, bass, you can adjust, okay? A plus, you can add the treble effect. Here, on the bass option, you can also add it. If you don't want this to be so high, you can also decrease it, decrease it, decrease it, decrease it. And here, you can set up your preset sound effect. It is a customized feature. Here on this page, you can see all the sound effects like classic, vocal, popular, rock, jazzy. Let's choose classic. So now it becomes classic effect. Okay. So that's the basic function of the EQ. And here you can also see some accessory functions like the alarm clock, sleep timer. Okay, you can set it up in your application if you like. And here you can also listen to your online music sources, okay, services, and then here. So this is the basic introduction of the connection for the i50b with your home network thank you for watching goodbye